Hello everyone, welcome back to Pharma Portal, your go-to channel for the latest pharma updates. Are you struggling to understand ICH quality guidelines? One of the main and very important ICH module is the quality module that is engaged in our daily activity of a pharma professional and it's hard to understand. Don't worry, in this video, we will break down the simplest way possible with real world examples. Whether you are a B-Farm or M-Farm student or planning a career in regulatory affairs or quality control, this knowledge will boost your expertise and make you industry ready. So let's begin. So what exactly are these guidelines? Well, the International Council for Harmonization or shortly called ICH develops them to make sure medicines are safe, effective and high quality no matter where they are made. Now why are these guidelines so important? Imagine if every country has its own different standards for medicine, it would be a complete mess. ICH guidelines help harmonize these standards worldwide, making sure drugs are consistent in quality when they are produced in India, US or Europe. In this video, we'll go through the all 14 guidelines, each one covering a key part of drug development and manufacturing. By end of this video, you will understand how these guidelines help to maintain top-notch quality in the pharma industry. Alright, let's talk about the one of the most crucial aspects of drug quality, the stability testing. This falls under ICH Q1 stability testing guidelines. So why is this important? Well, medicines needs to remain effective and safe over time, no matter where they are stored or transported. So this guideline ensures the drugs can handle different environment conditions like heat, humidity and light exposure. So primarily it is applied in research labs and quality control departments where scientists test how well a drug can hold in different conditions. By storing medicines at various temperature and humidity levels, for example in a hot and humid climate climate like Karnataka and analyzing how they degrade over time. So to continue with a real world example, let's say a pharma company is launching a new antibiotic. Before selling it to tropical regions like Karnataka, they need to test in stability in high heat and humidity. If it breakdowns too quickly, they might need to change the formulation or recommend a specific storage condition. So without this guideline, we wouldn't know if a drug remains safe and effective over time. That's why stability testing is a game changer in pharma. So next is ICH Q2 Validation of Analytical Procedures. This guideline is about making sure the methods we use to test medicines are accurate, reliable and reproducible. So why is this important? Well imagine taking a painkiller but the amount of active ingredient isn't consistent in every tablet. That could lead to overdosing or underdosing. This guideline ensures that the tests used to measure drug components are precise and trustworthy. So when is this done? Before any analytical procedure is officially used for routine testing in a pharma lab. Let's say a company develops a new painkiller before mass production. They need to validate the method to measure the active ingredient in each tablet. This ensures that every pill has the same exact dose giving patients safe and effective treatment every time. So without ICHQ2, we wouldn't have any standard way to confirm the drug quality. Next is the ICHQ3 Impurities in Drug Substance and Drug Products. This guideline is all about identifying and controlling the impurities in medicines to ensure patient safety. This guideline is important because even tiny amounts of impurities in a drug can sometimes become toxic or affect how the medicine works. So pharma companies must identify and monitor and limit these impurities to make sure the drugs are safe to use. Companies set specific impurity thresholds and test patches to ensure they stay within the safe limits. If impurities are found, they modify the process to reduce them. In real world example, imagine a company developing a new antihistamine for allergies. During testing, they discover small amounts of unwanted byproduct forming in the drug. To fix this, they adjust the synthesis process to remove or minimize that impurity, ensuring the final medicine is always pure and safe. So now let's talk about ICH Q4 Pharmaceutical, ICH Q4 Pharmacopial Harmonization. This guideline helps to make sure the drug quality standards are the same across different countries. So why is this important? Well, imagine a medicine being produced in India but sold in the US or Europe. If each country had different quality standards, companies would have to redesign and retest drugs for every market. ICH Q4 helps avoid this by harmonizing the global standards and making international drug approvals much faster and easier. As a real world example, let's say an Indian pharmaceutical company wants to sell its paracetamol tablets in Europe. To meet the European regulations, they must align their product specification with European pharmacopoeia standards. This ensures the tablets have the same quality, strength and composition as those are already approved in Europe, making the approval process smoother and faster. So thanks to ICH Q4, companies can expand globally with fewer regulatory hurdles. 
The ICHQ5 Quality of Biotechnological Products Guideline focuses on ensuring the quality, safety and consistency of biotech and biological products like vaccines, insulin and monoclonal antibody. So why is this important? Unlike the traditional chemical drugs, biologics are made from living cells, making them more complex and sensitive. Even a small change in the production can affect their efficacy and safety. That's why strict guidelines are needed to control their quality. For example, a Bangalore-based biotech company produces insulin using a recombinant DNA technology. Since the insulin is a biologic, it must follow strict ICHQ5 guidelines to ensure every batch has the same potency and purity, making it safe for diabetic patients worldwide. So without ICHQ5, there would be no clear standards for biotech drugs. ICHQ6 Specification Test Procedures and Acceptance Criteria for Drug Substance and Drug Products Guideline is all about setting clear quality standards for medicines before they reach patients. So why is this important? Well, before a drug is released, it must meet strict quality criteria to ensure safety, effectiveness and consistency. Without proper specification, there could be batch-to-batch -batch variations which might affect how well the drug works. For example, imagine a company developing a new extended release painkiller. To make sure the drug releases at the right speed, they set a specific dissolution rate as a part of their quality specification. Before the product is approved, the company must prove that every tablet dissolves at an intended rate, ensuring the consistent pain relief for patients. So without ICHQ6, there would be no defined quality benchmarks and drug safety could be compromised. Next we have ICHQ7. Good Manufacturing Practice for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients This guideline ensures the APIs are consistently produced with high quality, making medicines safe and effective. So why is this important? API are the core ingredients in any medicine. If the purity or integrity of an API is compromised, the entire drug can become ineffective or even harmful. That is why strict manufacturing controls are needed. For example, an API manufacturing facility in Hyderabad follows ICHQ7 guidelines to prevent cross-contamination between different drug substances. This ensures that a blood pressure medication API doesn't get mixed with an antibiotic API. Without ICHQ7, there could be a serious risk of contamination affecting drug safety and regulatory approvals. Next is the ICHQ8 Pharmaceutical Development Guideline which is all about taking a systematic approach in developing a high quality pharmaceutical product. So why is this important? Well, medicines must be effective, stable and safe for the patients. By following ICHQ8, companies can design robust drug formulation that work as intended even under different conditions. Imagine a company developing a new paracetamol tablet. By applying ICHQ8 guidelines, they carefully choose excipients to make sure the tablet dissolves quickly in the stomach, providing faster relief for patients. This also improves patient compliance, making the medicines easier to take. Without ICHQ8, drug development could be based on trial and error, leading to inconsistent products. But with this guideline, companies can create high quality medicines right from the start. Now let's explore ICHQ9 quality risk management guideline which is all about identifying, assessing and controlling the risk in pharmaceutical manufacturing to ensure patient safety. So why is this important? In drug production, even small risks can lead to severe safety issues. By managing risk proactively, companies can prevent quality failures. For example, a pharmaceutical company making sterile injectable drugs follow ICHQ9 to assess the risk of contamination in their production line. Based on their analysis, they install better filtration system and improve clean room procedures to eliminate contamination risk. Without ICHQ9, companies would rely on trial and error leading to product recalls and safety concerns. But with proper risk management, they can ensure consistent drug quality and patient safety. Now let's dive into ICHQ10 pharmaceutical quality system. This guideline helps companies to establish a structured and systematic approach to maintaining a consistent drug quality throughout its entire life cycle. So why is this important? A medicine's quality, safety and effectiveness must be consistent from the first batch to the millionth. ICHQ10 ensures the companies follow a standardized approach to quality management, preventing errors and ensuring compliance within regulations. A real-time example would be a pharmaceutical company producing antibiotics follows PQS system to make sure that every batch meets the strict quality standards before being released to the market. This prevents defective medicines from reaching the patients. Without ICHQ10, companies might struggle with inconsistent quality and fail the regulatory inspections and product recalls. Now let's talk about ICHQ11, 
development and manufacture of drug substance this guideline is all about ensuring the drug substance are produced with high quality and consistency so why is this important well a poor manufactured drug substance can lead to impurities variations in potency or even safety concerns ichq 11 helps pharmaceutical companies to optimize their production process to ensure consistent drug quality every single time for example imagine a indian api manufacturer working on a cancer drug by following ichq 11 they refine their purification process reducing the impurities and improving the drug yield and effectiveness following ichq 11 ensures that the medicine remains safe effective and consistent no matter where they are produced or how much demand grows ICHQ12 technical and regulatory consideration for pharmaceutical product life cycle management guideline is all about handling changes in drug manufacturing efficiently while maintaining the product quality and regulatory compliance So why is this important well over time manufacturing technologies evolve new formulations are developed and packaging materials have improved but making these changes without disrupting the drug quality and safety requires a structured approach that's exactly what ICHQ12 helps with for example a pharma company updates its packaging of its tablets to better protect it from moisture reducing the risk of degradation in humid regions by following ICHQ12 they ensure the changes meet the regulatory requirements while maintaining the product quality and patient safety in short ichq12 helps pharma companies to adapt to advancement without compromising the drug quality making sure the medicines remain safe effective and up to the global standards now let's talk about ichq13 continuous manufacturing of drug substance and drug products this guideline is a game changer for pharmaceutical industry because it moves away from traditional batch production to a more efficient automated process called continuous manufacturing why is this important well batch manufacturing can be slow inconsistent and wasteful while continuous manufacturing offers better efficiency real time quality control and reduced production time for example imagine a pharma company producing paracetamol tablets instead of making them in batches they adopt continuous manufacturing allowing them to produce tablets faster reduce waste and improve quality control in real time in short ichq13 is shaping the future of pharmaceutical production making medicine safer more consistent and available faster for patients worldwide now let's dive into ichq14 analytical procedure development this guideline is all about making sure the analytical methods used in the drug testing are reliable accurate and scientifically sound why is this important well in the pharmaceutical industry we need to be 100% sure that the tests we use to measure drug ingredients and impurities are consistent and precise if the testing method isn't accurate we could end up with incorrect dosages unidentified impurities or even unsafe medicines for example imagine a pharma company working on a cardiovascular drug they refined their high performance liquid chromatography graphy method to improve impurity detection ensuring every tablet is safe and effective for patients in short ichq14 ensures that every drug on the market is tested using the best possible methods keeping medicine safe effective and reliable hope you learned some new information from this video comment the topics that you like to know more in detail and i will make a separate video that has more likes encourage us by hitting the like button and share this video to your friends and family most importantly subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications from our channel thank you for watching and see you in another video